All right, guys, this is Ryan here, and you're going to learn something new today. Today, I'm going to teach you how to install and calibrate a TDS Bulletproof 25 Amp ESC. Stay tuned and check this out as you're going to learn something new today. All right. Hey, guys, this is an uh, unpackaging of the TBS Bulletproof 25 Amp BHEL Heli S ESC. Looks like it comes with your signal and ground wire, a power wire, and a heat shrink piece of tubing, and then just the ESC. Now guys, I do want to say that this does come with a uh, protective coating on it. All over, it is waterproof, apparently. I have not tested it. That would be a good test for you guys. But um, I've been told you want to take a uh, nice knife screwdriver or something and scratch the coating off of the gold pads so let's go ahead and do that for you guys and get it tinned up all right guys I don't know if you can see that like shininess on it or not but there's a little coating here and you kind of want to scrape it off When you buy these ESCs, you'll see what I'm talking about. Make sure you scrape this coating off because the solder will not take properly if you don't scrape it off completely, from my experience. And if you scrape it off, it'll flow right in. So let's go ahead and do this. has been taken off there. Let's go ahead and turn it up. Actually, you know what guys? I'm just going to hold this one up for you on the first one just to show you how easy it will take. And this is the negative side here. Alright guys, here's my alien frame. I'm gonna be re replacing this ESC here. Let's go ahead and take the plastic off now and the tape. I do um use a Stingy's method of the prop guard for the ESC. It does work perfect. I've never actually had a problem. This ESC did burn out because I had the motor get come off and wrap all up around the frame and whatnot, no big deal. Out with the old and in with the new. Damn! Got me, guys. <laughs> it's all good. Trying to 
hold it in your hand so you guys can see. Alright, I'm just gonna do it my way so you guys can see. Now let's go ahead and let me show you guys how to calibrate this through the KISS GUI. Go ahead and bust out the laptop. Be right back. Oh, aces guys. Wow. Yep. We got some here open up here. Let's go down here and open up. Kiss. Alright guys. I'm gonna go ahead and plug her in here. Maybe I should turn my off. This is what happens when you buy a spectrum. On and off button takes it down. Alright, so we've done connected now. What you're gonna do when you get on your main screen, here's your main screen, we're gonna connect, alright? You guys, you know I'm running spectrum. I leave my uh my fail safe on for two seconds cuz like if you're going full speed and you hit fail safe whatever direction like you're going your props are gonna shut off and maintain going that direction so at least a two second slows it down to a hover and then shuts the props off so you're not going 80 into a wall or something but what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to minimum throttle and we're gonna go ahead and type in 2000 I'm gonna put in 2000 and you're gonna select what ESC you want to run. I run one shot 42. Those are the only options I got. And you're gonna click save settings. It's gonna light up green. Now what I like to do to make sure that locked in is disconnect and reconnect. And as you can see, the setting did save. Now I'm gonna go over to data output so I can see if my controller is working. As you can see, it's working. And I'm gonna go ahead and arm the quad. That way it gives me all four motors to 2000 PWM. Okay, and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this battery. Listen to that music. Now we're gonna go ahead and disarm the quad. Unplug your battery again. You're gonna go back to configurations. Oh, froze up on me. Huh. 
Kiss would just freeze up on me like this. Ah, uh, that's Kiss for you guys. Always a problem. It's not super simple. Keep it easy, whatever their little freaking slogan is. Okay, now we're back in. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go back and set your minimum throttle back to what you had it. Mine was at 1070. That might even be a little too slow in my opinion for my prop speed when I cut down, but it still has me in stabilization. Now I do put minimum command at a thousand for air mode. If you wanna do use air mode, you have to have 1000 here in minimum command. If your minimum command is not a thousand, you will not have your air mode come on. And that's it. What I like to do is disconnect, reconnect to make sure my settings have been saved. And I don't trust KISS at all. And there's my PIDs. What I like to fly. That seems to be pretty good here. Maybe I can raise my P's up just a little bit. But other than that, I like it. I'm comfortable. And that's it on how to uh, tune and calibrate the ESCs for TBS with a KISS flight controller. Stay tuned, alright? That flying ride out.